Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm ZS Caravalli from ZK Research, and I'm here at RSA 2024 inside the Expo Hall at the Zscaler booth. I'm joined today by Naresh Kumar, a VP and GM at Zscaler. Uh, Naresh, just a quick intro on yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Naresh Kumar, uh, VP of Product Management and uh, responsible for a lot of zero trust networking initiatives. Okay, so we've had, uh, this is day two. Yes. Right, we've had a lot of news already from the show. Yes. Uh, any thoughts from the show uh, yet? Uh, uh, anything catch your eye? Yeah, lots of AI innovations in the security space, a lot of networking with colleagues, and more importantly, customers' perspective and views on AI. It's very interesting and it's very exciting to be here. Yeah, I can't do a show without AI Absolutely. anymore. Absolutely. Now, one of the themes here is obviously AI. Uh, the other big one I'd say is uh, Zero Trust. Now, Zero Trust has been this emerging technology for um, you know quite some time now, but uh, I'm curious, when, when you think about Zero Trust and where customers are, um, where are they right now with their deployments? Yeah, very good question. A lot of customers do started their zero trust uh, initiatives across networking, security, application, and it is going at full swing, I would say. And many customers are really looking at how zero trust could play a big role in this. From a deployments are concerned, most of the customers with Zscaler, they have already well ahead in the journey, especially protecting the users. That is where they are really getting benefits from. And what we are very excited is now to help them take into their deployments on the network side of things. Yeah, now the, uh, and so talk, drill down on that a little bit more because uh, Zero Trust, I think, has expanded the definition yes. and it is becoming a lot more connectivity focused. And yes. what are some of the challenges that come up as companies start thinking about applying Zero Trust to their network connectivity? Yeah, customers all along as an industry have built the connectivity based on VPNs. And the first thing to bring Zero Trust as a principal and thought process, you need to disrupt that connectivity model. And that is where the challenges come, especially from implicit connectivity model to more of an explicit connectivity model. And Zero Trust changes all of that. And that is where the number one challenge comes from if I don't have an agent I could put on an endpoint, right, how do right. I bring zero trust to it? For users, it is fairly in a good state, but when it comes to the non-user endpoints, IOD, OT, critical infrastructure, huge, huge challenge. And the second challenge around security specifically is what are these devices doing? Where are they talking? What data they're generating? What data they're consuming? And how it will in, in, increase the business risk is a big uh, area of focus for customers. Uh, so Naresh, I want you to drill down on IoT a little bit more. Uh, this concept of OT, IT integration has been something that we've been talking about for a long time. In fact, I think uh, when I started my analyst career over 20 years ago, that was a topic then, but it never really did much. And uh, IoT has been limited historically to those manufacturing, warehousing type yep. of verticals. But now I'm seeing it a lot more broad. I'm curious, are you seeing the same thing? What are your customers telling you about IoT? Yes, our customers, when we talk to, they're hugely, hugely trying to make a differentiated business outcomes with these OT and IT devices. So especially from IoT perspective, Every device, if it is reachable, it is breachable. So that's where the security comes into focus. And also there is a lot of modernization efforts, especially what does zero trust mean for a critical infrastructure, for a health uh, right. healthcare vertical. They're trying to figure out how do we modernize ourselves so that we have that visibility, that control, and bring all of the zero trust together. So there is a huge opportunity for us to solve the problem together for uh, that IT and OT. Now when I think of zero trust in the network though, I think uh, a lot of your network competitors would have their SD-WAN or VPNs be the enforcement mechanism for zero trust. So uh, why doesn't that work? What are the gaps that that causes? SD-WANs are built for last decade. If you look at with the rise of, rise of AI and the way applications are completely going cloud and disrupted, the way of thinking of SD-WAN has to evolve. Every SD-WAN vendor out there and the technology is built on a site-to-site -site VPN. Yes, it is a VPN. Yeah. And that's where a lot of customers are still using it. And it is a huge challenge from a lateral threat movement perspective. So that is where the one of the biggest challenge from SD-WANs is coming from because they are not security first. So oh, okay. Zero Trust is, is all about security first. And then the Zscaler model delivering from the cloud how does that differ from when you think of those, uh, if you want to call it a legacy SD-WAN solution, although the technology really hasn't been around that long? Yes, it uh, is yeah. a legacy of building a technology on site-to-site -site VPNs. Uh, it's a great question. Zscaler 
Zero Trust SD WAN solution is completely built based on a Zero Trust framework of the user or an endpoint cannot reach an application through a normal routing approach. So the way Zscaler differs this is we make a out inside out connection both from an application and an endpoint so that the endpoint cannot see where the application is hosted and the application does not have a route reachability gotcha. to the endpoint. So you're breaking the paradigm of giving a full access tunnel between two endpoints connecting two networks. That's how we defer. Every device will only talk to the desired application in a macro segmented approach, bringing the true zero trust segmentation. That's how we defer. We eliminate the complexity of routing and simplify without having to need to use a site-to-site -site VPN. Yeah, now when I think of Zscaler and Zero Trust, uh, I think it's fair to say that you've been the king of north-south, Yes. right, uh, uh, Zero Trust, but you recently bought a company called AirGap, yes. which brings Zero Trust down to the LAN for east-west traffic. And, yes. Uh, so drill down a little bit on why that's important and how you wrap that into what you've been doing from a north-south perspective. Absolutely, very good question. In this journey of enabling our customers to get their zero trust initiatives, what we realized is, as you said, we are the king of north-south security. Yeah, yeah. A lot of traffic in large campuses, data centers, OT and critical infrastructure factories and locations, you really uh, have a lot of east-west communication. They never go outside of the premise and a compromised endpoint can laterally move to any of the devices because most of the technology is a network-based segmentation. Right. Okay. So you can talk to each other in a given LAN unless you put a ACLs to prevent each of those communication, which becomes overhead. We had an amazing opportunity to uh, acquire AirGap, an innovative agentless technology which creates this island or network of one without changing the state of the network. You don't have to program those switches, you don't have to manipulate the ACLs, and you achieve the outcome of really getting a zero trust, where even though the two devices in a given la uh, LAN, they cannot talk among each other with air gap technology. It's a true zero trust bringing into the LAN, eliminating the firewalls and NAC appliances in the campus and OT infrastructure. Uh, all right, so you brought up the A word. And uh, I, you know, a few years ago, actually, I wrote a post on security talking about how uh, complexity is the enemy of security. Yes. Right. And when I think about where customers are now with AI, with hybrid multi-cloud, you know, with even in Gen AI being more cloud-based, uh, complexity has gone way up. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how does Zscaler help customers simplify their security? So they're not overwhelmed now with all yeah. these new friends. Absolutely. This is where uh, Zscaler had an amazing opportunity to acquire uh, Avalor, uh, a company which enables us to build Zscaler data fabric, which brings the data, we can get, uh, correlate the data and make sure we make meaningful context out of that so that we can focus on the security outcomes rather than the alert fatigue, rather than the the types of information given by 50, 60, 70 tools. So the Zscaler uh, data fabric, what we are building based on the context, what we have, as well as the integrations with 150 plus partners, will enable us to really help our customers achieve those security outcomes in having a meaningful, actionable, adaptive access controls. Okay, so Lara, let's combine the two. Let's talk AI, let's talk zero trust and combine them. How does AI enable, enable better zero trust? Yeah, so AI, will help you really make those smart decisions and adapt itself over time from a training perspective. So having an ability to enforce inline and continuously go and act on it as quick in near real time scenario, that is where AI will give us the power to really make those actionable outcomes and adaptive much, much faster. And that's where we are very excited to build this Zero Trust uh, platform to next level to give all those controls. And are customers scared of AI right now? Are they hopeful? Are they uh, excited? They are scared yeah. because a lot of people are still figuring out what's happening in my enterprise. How many AI tools are being in use? Because every day there are at least five, 10 new AI tools are being in use. So co-pilots are coming to the help. And what does, what go into the co-pilot, what prompts are being injected, what data threats it is going to bring is a big unknown for a lot of enterprises. At the same time, they are very interested in enabling the productivity of their employees and workforce so that they can achieve a better business differentiation. So it is an interesting time. They want AI at the same time. 
the challenge with yeah. the scale of it. So that's where uh, we have an amazing opportunity to solve those uh, problems. Well, whether people are scared of it or not, it's coming. It is, right? it is so, coming. <laughs> all right, so we talked to AI, we talked to Zero Trust. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, uh, we, Zscaler, joined forces with Google to bring our data protection and threat prevention capabilities, especially for those enterprises who have Google Enterprise Browser capability. They can achieve the benefits of secure access to private applications. They can take advantage of the comprehensive data security capabilities we offer from the suite. And more importantly, you will provide a unified experience for customers. This is a huge step forward for us in simplifying the security for our customers. Yeah, secure browser has been an interesting technology. It's been around a while. It is. Uh, I am seeing a lot more interest in it as a VDI replacement. Yes. Uh, in fact, I've talked to some companies where they'll only let uh, employees run Gen AI, Gen AI applications through a secure yes. browser. Yes. So, so we yeah. are seeing a lot of traction, especially yeah. in the um, BIOD use case, yeah. contractor access use case, and sensitive data. Anyone dealing with sensitive data, they want to make sure they are isolated, they are, they are uh, uh, only given access through those secure browsers. Yeah. Yes, that is a, a... But to be clear, this is much different than RBI. It is fully different yeah. than yeah. RBI. This yeah. is fully a browser providing you the security and data protection capabilities natively in the browser itself. All right, so that's something people should be looking at, right? Yeah, Okay. thank you. All right, and anyway, if people want to learn more about Zscaler, they go to? They go to Zscaler you know, both at RSA. Okay, so on behalf of Naresh Kumar from Zscaler, I'm Zs Karavala from ZK Regents, and thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on my next episode of ZCast. Thanks, Rush.